Get the all-new Pathfinder with 26 MPGs for only $299 a month. Or check out the Altima for just $249 a month. And 36 MPGs and over 100 available to choose from. For more, go to westcountynissan.com. What has this whole process been like for you? Oh, it's been very hectic, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And uh, I'd just like to thank the Cardinals organization for picking me and giving me the opportunity and taking a chance on me. And uh, I'm going to do anything to put the team in a position to win. Did you, when, after Marco got selected, did you kind of think, all right, well, at least I'm not going in this spot to the Cardinals? They kind of surprise you with the pick? No, I mean, Marco's unbelievable. He's a great, he's fun to watch. I, I watch him and study him, to be honest. And uh, we're similar. And uh, I think the Cardinals made two great picks, and hopefully everything pans out. How do you, uh, who helped you with your breaking ball? Tell us about that. That's a funny story, actually. I was in, a, I was playing center field in the middle of a doubleheader. I was playing center the first game, and then the second game I was pitching. This is when I was 13, 14. And my hitting coach says, uh, try this grip, spike curveball. And ever since, it just clicked, and uh, that's probably my best pitch right now. A lot of people feel it's your best pitch. <laughs> Thank you. Do, you. do you feel comfortable throwing it in all situations, or is it? Absolutely. I think that's why it's my best pitch, because I have all confidence in the world. And I'm starting to develop my changeup just as good, to be honest. It's creeping up my curveball, and uh, hopefully they both keep getting better. Where, where are you going to start? Uh, Gulf Coast League. Yes, sir. You made some comments on draft night about feeling fortunate to be drafted by this organization because of the track record of developing pitchers. Absolutely. Just the tradition, and uh, they let you be you, and uh, just the organization speaks for itself to be honest I don't comment much on that it's just a winning tradition and I love it and uh, it's just a great feeling is that something that came up a lot in some of the meetings and uh, workouts leading up to the draft well I couldn't do many workouts due to the because uh, my season runs till right. draft day we, I was supposed to have a start two days after the draft and uh, unfortunately we lost two days before the draft so I didn't pitch but uh, at the end of the day I'm just so thrilled to be here and be a part of a great organization Words can't explain. It was a dream come reality, and uh, hopefully things just keep getting better from here on out. Did, did you grow up, I mean, you're a Jersey guy, but did you grow up a Cardinals fan, or what is your appreciation? Just to... I've always appreciated the Cardinals. I mean, any baseball fan, I don't think you're a baseball fan if you don't appreciate them, to be honest. But uh, I grew up a Yankees fan, but that switched real quick June 6th, and uh, I my whole family switched over, and we can't wait to get started with the Cardinals. American League, it's all good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, ex series. Exactly. <laughs> Who, who are some of the pitchers that you kind of, I mean, are there pitchers or other players just that you looked up to growing up? Believe it or not, I love Yachty. I love Yachty Armelino, how he catches the game because the catcher has so much impact on a pitcher and his confidence and all that. And uh, to be honest, I love Gio Gonzalez as well. I love watching him. And uh, he's, we have similar builds, similar breaking balls, I think. And uh, just to be put in the same sentence as him as I have been is a great honor. Someone described you as Jersey tough. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's just how we all are, to be honest. We're Northeast, and uh, we got a chip on our shoulder because we don't get as much as respect as we should, but the Trouts are coming out here and doing their thing, the Frasers, and uh, hopefully I could just continue that. Where does your confidence come from, this self-confident guy? Um, I'm big on being self-confident, not being cocky, to be honest. Okay. And uh, I take pride in that, being humble. And um, my parents instilled in me always have confidence in yourself and your family, and uh, good things will pan out. Okay. What do you have to hear? It was tough. I liked North Carolina, but my dad always said, my parents always said that one thing supersedes a uh, college education at that institution, and uh, I was playing professional baseball. So I kind of knew for a long time I wanted to play, and when the dream became a reality, I couldn't pass it up. Was there a level like first round and one in the year, or was it just We didn't even get into that, to be honest. We didn't really get into that, and uh, just the opportunity to play with the Cardinals, is, it's hard to pass it up, and I couldn't do it. Was it a matter of you and your dad convincing your mom a little bit? Yeah, my mom is big on academics. I mean, we all are, but uh, you can't pass up opportunity like this. What was the thought when you got here to the stadium? Oh, my God. Seeing all the red out there is unbelievable. Unreal. It's unlike any other stadium I've seen. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody, really.